Team forecast just a few minutes. Thanks, Sean. Did he say muggy meter? <laughs> He did say that. We have, we have a muggy meter? I am just so glad that we're not responsible for the forecast for <laughs> the next pressure. couple of days. There a lot is. of pressure. Well, you've heard that this year's Indianapolis 500 is a sellout. So, of course, that means planning ahead to make sure you get in and out of the track. It's going to be more important than ever to do so in a timely manner. Mary Mills is at the Speedway tonight live with a look at how you, too, can be a smart fan. Mary? And one thing we keep hearing over and over is don't chance it. Get to the track at least two hours earlier than usual. What else should you be doing? Well, today I turned to a couple of Ball State students for help. You guys, are you up for this assignment? Yeah. Yeah. You've been to the 500, both of you. Yes. Intern Zally and Patrick ready to help, so we put them to work on how to be a smart fan. The crowds are going to be huge, so you really do need to know where you're going and what you're doing beforehand. Allie checked on race day shuttles. Do you have more buses this year? A good option if you want to avoid life in the slow lane. Know, too, that all IMS lots are sold out. You will find lawn parking, but it may be a hike. And unlike Patrick here, skip the shirt and tie and go for the cool, comfortable look. Don't forget bottled water and sunscreen, and if it's like today... And don't forget your own raincoat. Or else you're going to be sharing one with your best friend. Remember, small coolers only and a backpack for other things. Uh, poncho, some beer huggies, uh, binoculars. Expect tighter security and longer lines getting in. And don't forget the big no-nos. Big coolers, glass bottles, aerosol cans, and flags. And no selfie sticks, drones, and as cute as he is, sorry, Toby, no dogs. Think personal safety, too. And remember to always keep your keys and any passes you might have on a lanyard so they can't be taken from you. And any purses or bags you have, keep them tiny so that you don't have to carry around and lug it around the track. And don't forget to put your wallet and your phone and other valuables in your front pockets to avoid pickpocketing. We're going that way. Know where you're going and what time special events start. And if you didn't bring your own food and beverages, you will find a lot more vendors this year. And for the first time in the Speedway's history this year, there's going to be hawkers. And what is a hawker, you might ask? The person yelling, pizza, beer, hot dogs. Lastly, no, once the race ends, you won't be going anywhere quickly, so prepare to sit a while longer. And the one thing they can't stress enough with the heat and humidity predicted this weekend is to stay hydrated, and that means drinking lots of water and not so much beer. John and Ann. All, All right. right. Thank you. Mary Mills reporting from the track tonight. Yeah, and a round of applause for our interns as did well. Good job. Yeah, they did a good job. TV debut. Well, if you're headed out to the race on Sunday, don't forget, download our WTHR app. Make sure it's on your phone because we will be streaming our entire race day morning broadcast starting for you at 5 a.m. You can listen in as you're driving to the track and you'll get all the latest weather and traffic information. Plus, we'll have all the pre-race festivities. Find it all on the WTHR app.